Howdy again everyone, and once again, it's mirror lens time. They're a niche product for sure, but Torquina seem to really like making them. And so, before you, you see their brand new SZ Pro 300mm f7.1. Isn't it tiny? It's an APS-C mirror or catadioptric lens. Its cost will be about $340 US when it comes out in February, I think, but if you're very quick off the mark, then for the next 4 or 5 days, head on over to Indiegogo, where you'll be able to pre-order one at a discount, as well as the new 600 and 900mm mirror lenses that Tokina are planning to produce, there'll be a link in the description below for you. It'll be available on Sony E-mount, Canon EFM, and Fuji X-mount, initially at least. I'd like to thank Tokina for sending me one of these lenses for testing, although as usual, this is a totally independent review. Mirror lenses are interesting, but pretty niche optics. They allow you to have a long telephoto reach, such as 300mm on an APS-C body, in a very, very small lens, which is also very lightweight. This one weighs only 235 grams. They are also a lot less expensive than more conventional long telephoto lenses. Their disadvantages are that they are almost always manual focus only lenses, such as this one. And also, they are well known for having rather soft image quality. We'll see about image quality in a minute. Although this lens is marketed as being just for APS-C cameras, as you can see here, its full frame sensor coverage is actually quite good. Let's kick things off by looking at build quality. What hits you immediately is that this thing really is a miracle of miniaturization. For a 300mm lens, it really is absolutely tiny. Also, the lens's body is very well made, tough and metallic, while also managing to be lightweight due to the smaller than usual glass elements inside of it. The lens's only control point is the large, rubberized manual focus ring, which comprises most of the lens barrel. The focus ring turns fairly smoothly, but a little more lightly than I would have liked. It's easy to accidentally turn once you've achieved focus, so keep your hands off it. The focus ring turns almost 350 degrees, amazing, but it's still a little bit of a challenge to focus it correctly, as the focus range is so broad and the lens's barrel quite narrow. You can get there with a little patience, although it'll be far easier for you if you set it up on a tripod. Some good news though is that the lens doesn't really suffer from much in the way of focused breathing, as you can see here. You can also spot some unusually shaped bokka, more on that a bit later. The lens is not weather sealed and does not feature any kind of image stabilization, so the in-body stabilization of my Sony a7R 3 was surprisingly useful with it. It does come with a little metallic lens hood, which could be quite useful to use in critical situations. Its front filter size is a small 46mm. Overall, it's quite typical build quality here for a mirror lens. It's very tough, small and lightweight, but manually focusing it is a little tricky. Anyway, let's take a look at image quality now. I'll be testing it on an APS-C camera, my little Sony A5100 with its 24 megapixel sensor. No in-camera corrections are available with this lens. In the middle of the image, picture quality is soft, with low contrast, although admittedly some good basic clarity is still to be captured here, and the lens shows no colour fringing. The corner image quality looks about the same, and there doesn't seem to be any chromatic aberration or vignetting causing darkness. Overall, well, while the picture quality is somewhat soft, clearly, this is actually a fairly normal performance for a mirror lens. They're just not as sharp as conventional lenses, but it's still just about sharp enough for high definition video work at a pinch, and unless you want to crop into your images, then it's still enough detail for medium sized prints. Ok, let's look at distortion and vignetting now. You can see here that the lens suffers from, well, none at all really. That's some really good news, and I'm especially pleased at the lack of vignetting, which can really make itself known on mirror lenses sometimes. Alright, let's see about close up image quality now. Mirror lenses can often focus down surprisingly close to your subject, and this Torquina lens is no exception, getting you as close as 92cm to your subject for real macro performance. At that close distance, image quality gets just a little softer, as you can see here. Let's see now how the lens works against bright light. Well, 
Thankfully, the lens comes with that deep lens hood because we see a fair bit of glaring here, but mostly when the light source is just outside of your image, so I do recommend using that hood as much as possible, it should give you a lot of shielding. And finally, bokeh. Something I didn't mention earlier is another famous characteristic of mirrorless lenses. Due to the shape of the lens's front glass element, the bokeh is donut shaped. There are some people out there who might think that the resultantly busy outer focus backgrounds are interesting or funny, and in a way they are, but well, they're not for me really, although Christmas trees can produce some pretty neat results. Overall, well, this is a mirror lens, with all the associated strengths and weaknesses. In its favour are its incredibly tiny size, which is genuinely impressive and its fairly low price. It is just about sharp enough for high definition video work, maybe not quite 4K but certainly high definition. It is a usable lens and affordable too. Photographers who do not need loads of fine detail and have the patience to work with a manual focus lens and who are willing to shoot with it on a tripod for ease of use, that will definitely help you, can get some quite acceptable images out of it. Well, what do you think of mirror lenses? Would you ever get one? Let me know in the comment section below, and I want to take this opportunity again to say a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon. Your support is keeping these free lens reviews going. Check out the link in the description below, where Patreon supporters can find all kinds of bonus exclusive content. A bientôt tout le monde, see you next time.